guys how's going on my name is Louis and god bless every single one of you today is november 13 2023 and welcome to the grand supreme news channel all right guys so we have some urgent information coming out if you can please share this video and it says here california governor gavin newsom says that the 10 freeway fire was caused by malicious intent all right let's stop here for a second Listen up, Sleeping Giant. This is very important. Listen up. And once again, this is coming out from California governor. He's saying that uh, this event was caused by malicious intent. And what about the rest of the event that's been going on across the Sleeping Giant? You guys know, ever since we hit the year 2023, there's been trendings going on with all this stuff. And finally, someone came out and said that uh, this was caused by something. All right. So Gavin is basically sounding the alarm on this one. All right. So I do believe that the other events that has been going on, you guys already know, there's been a lot of stuff, train derailment, oil facility, uh, you know, fire and all that type of stuff going on. Uh, I do believe that uh, there's a possibility it could go uh connected with this event all right so let's see what's going on here if you can please share this video and just looking at this picture this is the aftermath mm. all right let's see what uh gavin newsom had to say about this one here so it says a preliminary investigation determine the destructive fire that indefinitely closed the I-10 freeway in downtown Los Angeles was intentionally started with malicious intent. California Governor Gavin Newsom announced Monday. Mm. All right. Now it says here, and uh, by the way, he did declare a state of emergency uh, when all this started. Um, so this here was a big, big fire. All right, so it says here, uh, give me a second, guys. So they, uh, they made a preliminary determination. There was malicious intent. Gavin said of the blank investigation. So this fire occurred within the fence line. That it was uh, blank and that it was done and set intentionally. Strong, strong words and message coming out from California governor. When I read this, I'm like, you know, all this uh, stuff that's been going on and videos that I have been uploading about train derailments after train derailments after train derailments. After train derailments, I mean, I lost count. We have more train derailments than anything. And then uh, oil uh, facility uh, being caught on fire. You guys already know, Texas and all that area. I mean, what about those uh, events? Was that set intentionally? So it says here you have uh, very, very important people uh, with uh, Cal Fire are still working to determine who set the blaze. That's an investigation that can be aided um, by the people of the region, not just those uh, that may have been uh, witnesses nearby, Gavin Newsom said, asking the public to come forward if they have any indication of someone involved in the fire's ignition. Uh, people with information can contact an anonymous tip line. And that's the number right there, guys. Once again, you have Mayor Karen, uh, who also spoke at the press conference, made sure to urge the public not to jump to the conclusion that the fire was set by people in the area, 16 of whom were living in the immediate vicinity when the event erupted on Saturday. Now, they, there is no reason to assume that the origin of this fire or the reason that uh, this fire 
happen uh, is because there were unhoused individuals nearby. So basically, uh, they're not saying it was the homeless that did it. They're not saying that. They're saying that it was others. Give me a second here, guys. Because a homeless has been living under that bridge for many years. For many years. So uh, they are very concerned about this situation. They believe that this uh, certain, you know, who out there that is doing these uh, events. All right. And uh, again, this event um, has been happening in other areas. You guys already know. You've seen uh, all the information coming out. All right. So once again, you had Newsom uh, disclose the cruise. Um, oh, give me a sec. I skipped something. All 16 of those unhoused people have been provided temporary housing. All right. So Newsom disclosed that crews are still working around the clock and that the structural analysts uh, remains ongoing. However, they were able to learn that the freeway deck, uh, which they expressed concern about, is much stronger than originally assessed. The reason why it's really strong is because uh, those, those, uh, those bridges was built. Uh, for earthquake magnitudes like up to 7.0. So a lot of stuff out there in California are very strong buildings and houses and all that. Uh, they basically earth, earthquake proof until they see an 8 point something, there's a different ball game. All right, so despite this, uh, work will continue in the coming days to ensure that the road is completely safe before the return of traffic. Now, Surveyors uh, say that nearly 100 columns of the freeway were damaged in a fire, at least nine of which were uh, severely impacted. Crews are working to brace the freeway deck as they uh, repair the damaged uh, portions of the structure. Right, give me a second here, guys. Subsequent uh, sample uh, testing is underway to determine whether or not we are tearing this down and replacing it, or we are continuing the retrofit and the repairs and the bracing, Gavin Newsom said. The massive fire, which was first reported as a rubbish fire at, a, at around 12.20 a.m. Saturday morning, erupted in a large storage yard under the freeway, scorching pallets, trailers, and vehicles stored in the area. Guys, there's been a lot of uh, these breaking information news coming out. I reported uh, multiple warehouse facility, especially recycling areas, and also a warehouse that has a whole bunch of pallets. Uh, a lot of those places have seen flames uh, in the year 2023. Uh, it's mostly warehouse too, with pallets. And uh, again, like I mentioned, recycling. So uh, this is almost a similar story, but this one here is under a bridge. And there's a lot of pallets in there. It's kind of weird. I never seen pallets under bridge, under a bridge. Usually pallets is like behind Walmart or somewhere in Walmart park, uh, parking lot. Or like warehouse, like shipping or receiving uh, loading dock or inside a uh, container like the, the trucks, uh, the 40 foot containers. Pallets are around, you know, facilities, warehouse, not under a bridge. It's, uh, it's kind of strange. Give me a second here. Uh, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Just looking at this picture. Is there a warehouse? I don't know, guys. Again, I never seen pallets under a bridge. And there was a whole bunch of pallets in there. I don't know. Um, I mean, again, it, I mean, it is California, so I don't know how they do their stuff out there in Cali. But uh, here in the East Coast, most of the pallets is like in a warehouse or 
Walmart parking lots or Targets and all that type of stuff. But uh, I mean, you, I mean, you don't see pallets under bridge unless the pallets are stolen. All right, so uh, it says here uh, it is still under. Give me a second here. Okay, so it says here, as a result, the freeway, which acts as one of the primary thoroughfares into the downtown Los Angeles area, has been closed since early Saturday morning, all right, creating a traffic nightmare for thousands of uh, commuters Monday morning. So it is still unclear when the road will be reopened. On Sunday, uh, California governor declared a state of emergency. For the incident in order to secure the necessary funding and resources for repair as quickly as possible. Apex Development The Calabasa base owner of the property where the fire started on Sunday, uh, Saturday was unavailable for comments when approached by KCAL News. Uh, Newsom says that the members of Apex Developments have been um, bad actors and have been engaged in the interguess. I truly apologize about that word. Um, battle with the state for some time. Now he says that the company have been uh, sub uh, subleasing the property to as many as six tenants without authorization. That they uh, have stopped paying rent and are out of compliance with uh, state regulations. Uh, so what was uh, legally affordable, this lease, excuse me, legally afforded this lease, and recall they have an unlawful uh, retainer for a reason, was the open storage. There's a possibility, guys, maybe in that area there was a store, uh, storage or something. There's a, uh, there's a lot of pallets out there too, but uh, again, uh, I, I just it's just kind of weird that you have a whole bunch of pallets under a bridge. All right, so once again, uh, it says of non-flammable materials, non-explosive materials, and vehicles, operating vehicles, Newsom said. We sold those vehicles, and we certainly saw a lot of pallets, and we certainly saw a lot of open storage. 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 Something, uh, uh, something weird. What's going on in this uh, story here? Because I did watch the video, and I did watch the car, and man, under that bridge is, I mean, it was a, it was a whole different world. I mean, palace is wood. You had a whole bunch of vehicles there, and man, it was a. Hmm. But yeah, guys, it seems like uh, someone knew what they were doing with them pallets. But then you have to ask yourself, you know, Gavin is saying that, uh, you know, this was started by certain, you know, who. Then you have to think about what about the other events? What about those, uh, the train stuff? What about uh, the oil facility? What about this? What about that? In the year 2023, there's been a lot of these type of uh, stories. Gavin is saying, man, this, uh, this was, uh, you know, it was not an accident. Basically, again, that's what he's saying. Uh, so again, guys, uh, I will keep you updated on this story. Once again, Gavin Newsom is coming out and giving some updates. Um, but like I said, uh, I do believe that uh, there are certain you-know-who out there that is uh, doing these type of stuff. We already know that. We knew that. doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure this thing out. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Once again, for those of you that want to give your life to Christ, you can email me. My email is in the description box. Me and my wife are here to help many and to lead many to, uh, to the righteous path. And that's the path of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. For those of you that want to send us letters or prayer requests, you can send it to me, Luis Santiago, or my wife, Jessica Santiago, at 3432 U.S. Highway 19, number 2, Holiday, Florida, 34691. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. God bless you all. Put your faith and trust in Jesus Christ, for he's the only way. 
a truth, and a life. No one gets to the Father but through Jesus. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time later. Peace.